Alright, hey guys, Candy Operative here, and yes, you can see me in the reflection of this door. Um, I'm standing outside in my backyard of my house, which is this. Um, so I'm in my backyard, and I've been painting my Snapbow. So it's been a while since I've made a video, and I know I apologize for that, guys. Um, but I really just haven't had time to work on my Snapbow and then show it to you guys. So today is a Saturday. Don't have any homework. It's a weekend. Don't have anything today. Parents aren't home. I'm home alone. And what better to do than work on Nerf stuff? And even though it kind of looks like, if my camera, there we go, it's kind of pretty cloudy. Although, yeah, it's pretty cloudy and it looks like it might rain. But let's hope it doesn't because I'm painting. Did I already say I'm painting? I don't know if I did. But basically, here's the gun. This is my snap bow. And, uh, yeah, so, hold on adjusting the strap on my camera okay so uh, yeah this is the color I'm using it's uh, rust oleum paint which is really great it's um, blue just like standard blue gloss paint for plastics and it's a pretty nice color and I really like it so I taped off my gun and painted the first part of it yes you can see the stock I added a piece of plastic on the back that says ace um, I'll get to that in a minute but basically this is what I'm painting today and working on. It's pretty nice. Yes, it is a gloss blue. I wasn't going to go for a flat blue. I kind of like gloss better because it makes it look a little bit more professional. It, it already has uh, gloss in it, so I don't need to do a gloss coat after painting on uh, the, the color, which is nice. So I've done two coats of this blue already, and then once it dries, hopefully in about an hour or two, I'll flip it over and then paint the other side. Yes, I did. Um, sand it before I painted it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear this noise. My pool is making noises. Water. Yeah, so I apologize if that's in the background noise, all this water spraying, but yeah. Anyways, back to the gun. Um, yeah, so this is what I've got. It's actually really nice. I'm really happy with it. Ranges are about 90 feet. Um, the plunger head I did a pretty cool thing with uh, between my last video and this video. I actually switched out the plunger head for a long shot plunger head. And in this one and a quarter inch PVC, which is the air chamber here, it actually fits a long shot plunger head in it really snugly. And I have a great air seal now. It's a really nice air seal. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can make better darts because right now my darts uh, with this CPVC because CPVC kind of varies in thickness, I'm going to need to get darts that are a little bit tighter in it because right now my darts are actually kind of loose in this barrel, so I'm not getting the range that I would like to be getting. So I'm going to see if I can um, get darts that are a little bit tighter, not too tight though, just darts that are a little bit tighter in the barrel so that way I can improve my range from 90 feet flat to 100 feet flat. Um, I don't know if that's possible. I don't really care to be at 100 feet flat. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with 90 feet flat, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's basically the, the same range as my Epic Long Shot, a little bit less, actually. I really don't know why it's less, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this was just a replacement for my Epic Long Shot, in case you guys didn't know that. I just really, really like this thing. It's really, really durable, and, um, really accurate. This thing's way more accurate than my, uh, Epic long shot, which now that I'm talking about accuracy, I'll show you something else that I'm painting. Go over to this. This is the um, red dot sight thing from Nerf. Right now it's tilted kind of funny, but yeah, it's the red dot thing. And then I taped off this little thing here. Is a piece of tape that's taping off the um, the thing where the light comes out, so the light doesn't get painted. And then I took out the uh, glass thing in here, and I'll re-put the glass thing back in but I took it out so that way um, I don't accidentally paint the glass. So yeah, this I just painted black and uh, that's basically going to be the two colors of my gun. It's going to be black and blue. Um, and then I'm also going to do some bolt gun metal details.
which will be nice. Um, bolt gun metal is like a silver color, so it's going to be black, blue, and then a little bit of silver. But yeah, this looks like it's uh, drying pretty well. It's been about a half hour since I painted these, so we'll see how much longer it takes for the paint to completely seal and everything. But yeah, so I'm, I basically made this, and then I took the original clip off of it, and then hot glued on uh, that little half of a ring that you see on the bottom there and that snaps onto the actual body of my Epic Long Shot. It snaps on right in between these two rubber bands and I basically have a red dot sight on my gun that because it snaps on it does not wobble at all so it stays really tight on the rest of the gun and um, it makes a really really good sight. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've noticed at like 40, 30 or 40 feet I can actually fire this gun and be accurate within an inch. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I guess that's basically all the content that I felt like sharing with you in this video. So again I apologize for not having a video uh, made for a while. It's just been hard to get videos up because I've been really busy with stuff. But now that it's a weekend and I've got no homework and all that stuff, got nothing to do, I can work on Nerf, paint this gun, and make a video. So hope you guys like the progress that I've made on the ace bow. Um, that's actually what I'm naming this. That's why I put the ace there. I'm going to call it the ace bow. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch you later.